Hi Virgo, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Virgo, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Virgo. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So there is an energy here of someone who was feeling uh, helpless, powerless, stuck in a victim mindset, or they, they were victimized by a situation and they were struggling to see a way out of the situation. Um, but with this card being in the reverse, there's an energy of seeing one's power, seeing one's ability to get out of a situation, um, moving past limiting beliefs. Um, someone could be taking back their power. This could be you. It could be that you're you're removing yourself from a situation that makes you feel like you have to always have your guard up or makes you feel like you're being victimized or that you're not safe. So let's see. We have the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The nine of pentacles earth energy and the four of wands fire energy okay so you could be um having had these realizations that there's certain limiting beliefs that have been holding you back in your love life um it's possible that you're very independent self-sufficient and there's this feeling here with the eight of swords that you may have been wanting love but certain ideologies or beliefs were kind of stopping you or holding you back um, and it, there's this feeling of taking control of your love life now with the four of wands here and the ten of pentacles you could be about to enter a relationship you could be about to commit to something or love is finding you you know and there's this feeling of you know having to let go of certain old beliefs narratives because with the eight of swords that's distortions you know that's holding on to things that no longer serves you and if anything are kind of like sabotaging your relationship so it's possible that you were victimized in some relationships in the past but there's some sort of transformation that could be taking place here in your love life um, it could be that a new love finds you and it challenges these old ideas that you may have been carrying because it looks like you're about to be committed soon or you're you're already connecting with someone who there's long-term potential here there's the ability to have emotional fulfillment in love here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards, uh, Virgo. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles again, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So it does look like there's a commitment here for you, a serious relationship with someone who, you know, it looks like you guys would look good on paper too. This is someone where you guys could have that power couple type of vibes. There's, uh, there's compatibility here. So let's see. We have the Empress, Venus Energy, the Devil in the reverse, Capricorn Energy, and the Page of Pentacles earth energy so there's a heavy energy of leaving or releasing negativity and a negative mindset you know things that were toxic uh, it could even be an attraction to toxic partners it's like you are moving away from that because you're attracting a, a safe relationship a steady secure kind of relationship and with the page of paints closed, it looks like it's something new or it's something that's, you know, in the works. It's it's a new beginning or a new kind of era in your love life. With the Empress here, there's someone here who's going to think very highly of you and they'll be able to match your energy. They'll be invested. And this is someone who will go the extra mile for you. This is someone who will be able to commit in a meaningful way. And you and this person can have this Ten of Pentacles, which is really that happy ever after energy. You know, it's connecting with someone you can grow old with, you can build a legacy with, you can have a power couple with. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, um, 
Virgo. Okay, we have luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. So it's finally, there's this feeling of, you know, seeing positive results in your love life something is looking up for you something is working out in your favor and it it's with this card here with this arrow being here it's like it's finding you you won't have to force this beginning in your love life it's like this is someone who there's something fated like it's meant for you okay so let's see Okay, we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life so this could be something you had to be quite patient with and it does look like it's because we're being prepared for this new beginning there's something here that you're it's finally time for it to come into fruition okay so let's see okay we have dignity a wise man has dignity without pride. A fool has pride without dignity. Okay, so yeah, there's something here about you respecting yourself, you knowing your worth, you keeping upholding your standards. It does look like you won't have to lower your standards because the love that's coming to you is going to really meet your, your standards. And you know, there's, there's something here about something very solid and secure coming your way. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Virgo. Okay, we have surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout slow down honor your honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind body and spirit okay so it does look like something is coming to you you won't have to exhaust yourself or force something to happen here for you okay so that's what i'm seeing for you virgo i hope you have a really really good day virgo bye virgo